Today we're talking about the new thriller, Rebecca on Netflix, so let's get started. A young newlywed arrives at her husband's imposing family estate on a windswept English coast and finds herself battling the shadow of his first wife, Rebecca, whose legacy lives on in the house long after her death. Just a quick thanks for stopping by my channel. If you guys love to watch movies like I do, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Rebecca is an adaptation from the 1939 novel, and this film has been adapted before into the 1940 Alfred Hitchcock film, Rebecca. So we're getting a new version of this film starring Army Hammer and Lily James. Before I dive really deep into this movie, I just have to say this is one of the most elegant, beautiful, classy, just well shot film I have seen this year. The costume designs, the set location, the house that Army Hammer's character lives in, the way that is filmed, it is stunning. This is one of the best looking films I have seen this year. I was so amazed with how elegant and classy and breathtaking this film looks. I and mean, most of it's really just the costumes and the designs of the locations, all of it is just, it's really well put together and it feels very rich and fancy. And I was really just captivated really early on with this film. I was really drawn into the look and style of this movie. In the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Lily James' character. She plays a young woman who essentially is like a maid for this older woman who is staying at this really fancy resort hotel and she has to run errands for her. She has to accompany her to dinner all the time. And then she runs into Maxim de Winter at a dinner and they spark this relationship. The young lady has to go back to New York and he decides to marry her and bring her back to his estate. And there she learns of his first wife, Rebecca, who has passed away and the housekeeper who was very fond of Rebecca and really isn't accepting this new lady in the house. We have a thriller surrounding the first wife and her presence there and the young lady and the housekeeper and just a lot of different things going on with this movie. This is a really good film. Like I said, it's beautifully shot. It's just elegant. It's, it's so classy. It's just so rich looking. I was so enthralled with watching this film and how it's directed and how it was crafted. But behind it, I think it has a really good story as well. I have not seen the Alfred Hitchcock film. I also have not read the 1939 novel. And so I don't really have any connection to the story and the characters. But what I found interesting about Rebecca is how they painted the young girl, someone who is alone, despite having a job where she is accompanying someone she feels alone. Her parents are no longer with her and so she's left all by herself and she feels like she doesn't have anybody to connect with. And that's why she was so easily drawn in by Max, her wanting to go back to his estate because she seeked that attention and fell in love with him immediately. The film does take its time slowly to really set up that relationship and make you really feel like they are in love. And really building these characters in the first half of the movie, they are going on these random trips, random drives, all kind of secretly behind this woman's back where she's supposed to be watching her and being with her. The lady is sick, so she's taking advantage of all of that. And so they're developing this relationship. It's a lot of fun. It's just really innocent. And then when they get back to the States, that's when things start to really come forth and you really learn much about Maxim and his past and who Rebecca is. And that's when the film becomes a little bit more intense. It's a thriller at times. So I liked how it started off really calm and friendly and lovely. And then it transitioned into some of those more darker moments for these characters. And it's not a dark film. It's not a really like sinister story. 
you guys have seen Rebecca or read the novel, you probably understand what I'm talking about. But the film does dive a little bit deep into um, how one person can affect people around them and their presence really meant something to them and what people are willing to go through to secure that and not change anything within this household. I really like Lily James and Army Hammer in the role. Um, I think they are really cute together. I thought they had really great chemistry. I will always stand by this. I think Army Hammer would have been a really good Batman. I thought he would have been a perfect pick for Batman, but Ben Affleck was pretty good too. Um, but I really like them together and Lily James stayed really constant throughout the film. You know, she was lonely in the beginning, but she was always very sweet and I always liked her as a character in the film. Army Hammer on the other end, you know, he introduced himself as a really welcoming person, wanted to take her on these day trips, take her out to dinner, really impress her. And then we got to know a little bit more about him and he was shut off. He wasn't really telling her about his past. And so he was really closed off and that kind of halted his development, but you knew something was off with him. And when we got back to that estate, the mystery of the film and who Rebecca was and why she meant so much to Maxim and the state and everybody in there and why she died. I think the mystery also became really intriguing. You really want to know what happened to her if you have not seen the other film or read the story. It's an interesting, it's an interesting mystery and it really keeps you engaged and wanting to know what had happened all the way to the end of the film. So it has a really good setup and a really good development throughout the story kind of teasing you a little bit throughout the middle half of the movie. and But the film does run really quickly in the third act of the movie once we learn a little bit more about Rebecca and Maxim and his past. They try to do a little bit too much with the end of the film. And it's over two hours long, so it really shouldn't feel quickly paced. But the end of the film, they try to introduce new scenes very quickly and important moments seem to be brushed over really fast. But Rebecca was a film that I didn't know much about since I haven't seen that film by Alfred Hitchcock, but I know it's regarded as one of his best. But I really did enjoy this film. I loved how elegant it looked, the overhead shots, the uh, state, the costumes, everything just seemed way too classy for me. Like I, I would never be able to participate in something like that in my life but it was so fun to just look at it. It was a beautiful looking film. But for right now, I think Rebecca is one of the better Netflix films I've seen this year. Um, I'm curious to see what everybody thinks about it when it does come out on Netflix. Uh, I know some people were worried about the film because probably of the Alfred Hitchcock movie, but I thought it was a very solid film really early on. It really captivated me really early on and really never let go. I was always wondering what was gonna happen and always interested in watching the film. I'm going to go ahead and give Rebecca an A-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review of the new Netflix thriller, Rebecca. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. And stay tuned for more up-and-coming videos. My name is Just Watch the Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.